has been said that you never get a second chance to make a first impression. So how do you keep from blowing that first shot? Mary Ann's with our life coach with ways to make that first meeting a memorable one. Yeah, Cynthia Bazin is back because it's true. You only get a one shot to make a first impression. And a lot of times people come away and that's it. That's what that's their opinion of you. And you're hard pressed to get them to change it. Absolutely right. As we know, we shouldn't make an impression right on the first one, right? Because sometimes people are nervous, but we all know when we meet someone for the first time, mm -hmm. that first impression leaves a lasting impression, sometimes good and sometimes really bad. So I've yeah. got a couple tips today. Easy stuff, simple stuff, the basics for us to make a boom factor in a good way. Okay, so this is if you're, you know, meeting someone socially or if you're, you know, meeting someone for a job or just a potential contact for future, you know, connection of some kind. Right. Anything okay. that we say today, you know, apply to what you need to go for. Yeah, All right. absolutely. Number one, you want a strong opening. Yeah, strong opening. You know <laughs> what? That even starts before you actually meet the person. Oh. So a strong opening, make sure you get there early, not on time, right? And so even if it's on a phone call, right, make sure that you're on there early. Also, you know, making sure if you're going to meet someone, go to the restroom, do a clothing check, do a teeth check. I know. <laughs> How many times have we met somebody and like, oh, <laughs> somebody's got something in their teeth, That's right? That spinach I had <laughs> earlier today, yeah. Let's make sure we look sharp. A smile and a warm handshake goes a long way, right? Definitely. That first impression. Definitely. So do that boom factor as soon as you meet somebody. All right. Having no distractions, important. Ah, uh, yes. You yeah. know what? Have respect for the other person. As we know, right? We have digital stuff. We've got our phones all the time. See, I put this away, right? Mm -hmm. So put it in your purse, shut it off office make sure that you respect the person in front of you and if your eyes kind of wander because sometimes we meet people in crowded places mm -hmm. if you know that you get distracted easily maybe face yourself get there early and face towards the wall so you're you know looking at the person versus all the people walking around you oh good idea all right uh, number three do your research like on the person or yeah absolutely so if you're meeting someone for the first time or going in for a job interview right especially if you are initiating the meeting there's a beautiful thing called Google you can find almost <laughs> anything on any company <laughs> any person right <laughs> right is that don't ask silly questions is that find you know something out about the person in the company and it will really impress somebody if you bring something up during the appropriate time that you've done your research and you know something about the person or the company that you're meeting with yeah I think that, that it will impress them and number uh, four the quality of words versus the quantity of words oh, this is your a big words. one for yeah. me Marianne on the phone or meeting a person nobody likes a conversation hogger as I call them yeah. okay yeah. is that that's why we have two ears one mouth right and so you know, just oh, relax. Like <laughs> <laughs> like Two of these, one of these. Okay. <laughs> Think of that when you start chatting, right? Yeah. Is that it needs to be reciprocal, the conversation. Take a deep breath. You know, a pause is a powerful thing. Mm -hmm. And just remember, do you ever watch uh, Charlie Brown as a kid? Sure. You remember the teacher? Wah, wah, wah. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> if you start talking too much, right, <laughs> is that all of a sudden it's just like glazing over, right? So make yeah. sure you choose your words wisely. Quality means everything to make that powerful first impression. Excellent. Well, and this morning before you got here at 5 o'clock, I did, knowing that Cynthia was coming today, I did my daily list on uh, if you did botch the first impression, how to go about fixing Ooh. that. So if you want to uh, watch this later on, we're going to uh, put our, this segment on uh, gooddaysacramento.com under video on our homepage. You can also find this morning's daily list there as well if you want to watch them side by side <laughs> just in case you've got something you think you might need to get out of. Uh, also, uh, here's how to contact Cynthia. We're going to put that on our our homepage as well under show info and today's date if you want to get in touch with her for uh, mentoring life coaching public speaking all that kind of stuff so information uh, marvelous is always always so great thank to you see. I love the two ears one mouth that's my favorite <laughs> takeaway from this whole thing today awesome awesome <laughs> thank Thanks, you for having me. always great to see you, Back to you. thank you